Today we'll be talking through an ethical scenario that could come up in your medical school interviews. Hi, my name is Alan, I'm a third year medic at the University of Birmingham and welcome back to Aspiring Medic's YouTube channel. So, let's begin. Imagine a patient with a terminal illness asks for assisted dying, which is illegal in the UK. How would you approach this situation from an ethical standpoint and what should a doctor consider before responding? So let's define assisted dying. Assisted dying is when a healthcare professional helps with a patient's end of life care, usually by ending their life, to alleviate the pain that they may be suffering due to an terminal illness or a condition that they may have. Let's talk through four ethical principles that are, would be important for you to show up in your medical school interview. First one would be autonomy. Autonomy is a patient's right to make their own decisions regarding their own care. So in this scenario, that would be their right to decide what they want to do with their end of life care, whether they like palliative care or any of the services that we could offer. A second one would be beneficence. Beneficence is being kind, understanding the patient and doing what's right for them. And that kind of comes into play with non-maleficence, which is to do no harm. I can go two ways. So we can look at non-maleficence in the sense of do you want to end the patient's life to make sure they can be alleviated from their pain? Or non-maleficence can be seen in the sense that we can provide them with palliative care or other options to avoid using assisted dying. The last point that I would like to talk about is justice. Justice is making sure that we do what is fair for the patient, looking at the good sides of things and looking at the bad sides of the assisted dying bill as well, putting them together and making the best decision for the patient's care. Doctors generally use GMC guidelines or trust guidelines to ensure that they make the best decision for the patient and do what is right in terms of medical care in general. Now, there is a new bill that is being passed called the Assisted Dying Bill, and that's been passed through Parliament as of 2025 and should be implemented within the next four years. So it might be worth looking out for that news and making sure that you keep on top of it just for your interviews in the future. So just to conclude, it'd be important to talk about these points that I have outlined in the video, but it doesn't matter if you do forget one or two, just make sure you reason them well and come to your interview prepared. Thank you very much, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. Thank you.